Most people want their dreams to happen right now. They want to achieve everything overnight. But if a dream can come true that quickly, it's probably not that much of a dream. I know, I'm just a kid. I know my dream is crazy. But I know I'm going to be an overnight success. Even if it takes 10 years. Got, got a mountain to climb or a hill to walk up either way to call shit. So I'm going for the big things, yeah. We live here. We work here. We help our members buy homes and save money by not charging a bunch of banking fees. All the benefits of a hometown credit union. Now that's a plus. Northwest Plus Credit Union. I joined the Army because I was really interested in unmanned aviation and there are not that many jobs where you can do that um, to the level that we do in the Army. I think what I love most about my job is that it's always challenging. You have to be able to react at a moment's notice to any changes in the aircraft and be able to potentially land it right away. This is the shadow and one of the coolest things we can do with the shadow is based on the camera down here. This camera allows us to get a lot of information from up in the air that is super helpful to the troops on ground. Hey, Ratchets, look! I'm you! <laughs> Jake from State Farm. You couldn't find a standard that looked anything like me? Have you seen mine? It's like looking in a mirror, right? Now that one makes sense. Look, guys, I don't even have a stand-in. Of course you do. Hold on. Is that Drake? That's right. Drake from State Farm. Like, like a, a good, good neighbor. neighbor. Like, like a, a good neighbor. neighbor. Hey. Stand-ins don't have lines. Oh, okay. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Be Harsh Furniture is the place where you can find furnishings and accents to fit every style. We have a huge selection of modern furniture, including modern farmhouse, mid-century modern, and urban chic. We've got it all in stock for you to take home today. I'm Jay Bihar. Did you know that Bihar's offers more financing options than the department stores? You can afford it at Bihar's. Just ask about our financing. Bihar's Furniture, 21st and Broadway in Everett and online at bihars.com. It begins with the ball. You see, a ball is not just leather and rubber. A ball is the seed that communities grow around. We're talking split-second moments that become indelible memories. It creates lifelong friendships. It's a reason for people to celebrate. A ball isn't just a ball. It's a life lesson. It's a tool you use to pursue your best. It's how you earn your greatest victories how you learn to deal with failure. It's a test that you pass. It's a dream that you catch. It's a future you hold in your hands. It's not just a ball. Baden, the official ball of you. IRD Physical and Hand Therapy is the Northwest premier physical and hand therapy group with over 35 clinics located throughout the Puget Sound area and multiple located throughout Everett. There is an IRG clinic located in a neighborhood near you. Our neighborhood clinics provide compassionate and individualized care in a friendly environment. The clinics use the latest techniques and technologies to achieve exceptional results. Head to IRGPT.com to schedule your free movement screen today. communities need those who grew up in them to show them the way forward. I want to be the local leader that I needed when I was growing up. My name is Tamara Demery. I grew up on the south side of Chicago with my grandma and six of my sisters. They made sure that I was able to find my passion. And that's how I discovered basketball and how I found my voice. Through my work with Nike, I started volunteering to work with kids. I tried to create a moment to have a positive conversation to guide them forward. Playing basketball growing up meant uniting the community with something everyone loved. Today, I still use hoops to build a family with the kids I work with and help my community find healing through sport. 
I want to be the hero that I didn't have when I was growing up. It's on all of us to help the community we came from. I chose Everett Community College because I'm the youngest of three siblings and we are all first generation students. All my sisters came here so I'm following in their footsteps to pursue higher education while saving money. My advice to others would be to be proud for considering a community college, especially Everett Community College because it's a beautiful, diverse and inclusive campus that is really worth attending. Take your next step at everettcc.edu. My name is Captain Jose Vargas, and I am a soldier in the U.S. Army Reserve. My full-time job is an Everett Police Department police officer. Making a difference is a huge deal for me. Uh, being part of the U.S. Army Reserve has been a great experience. It's uh, provided me an opportunity to continue to serve not only my country, but my community through the Everett Police Department. It's just got to come from the heart at the end of the day. I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Yeah, right. Pepperoni pockets, an atomic brownie, cuckoo crusty. There's no promo, it's just great rates. And a cider ranch. You're the man, man. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. IRD Physical and Hand Therapy is the Northwest premier physical and hand therapy group with over 35 clinics located throughout the Puget Sound area and multiple located throughout Everett. There is an IRG clinic located in a neighborhood near you. Our neighborhood clinics provide compassionate and individualized care in a friendly environment. The clinics use the latest techniques and technologies to achieve exceptional results. Head to IRGPT.com to schedule your free movement screen today. Buying your first home is a big step. So many decisions to make. When it comes to your mortgage, why not get a great rate and keep it local? Talk with the experts at Northwest Plus Credit Union. We can help make that dream home of yours come true. My name is Laura Chong and I'm a soldier in the Army Reserve. I'm a 25 Bravo, so that's an IT specialist. And I'm currently transitioning over to 17 Alpha, which is a cyber officer. I work full time at Boeing as a versatile technologist. I find myself referencing a lot of the knowledge that I learned as an IT specialist in the Army towards my civilian career at Boeing. A lot of times the knowledge is transferable. A lot of the technology is the same as well too, so it's very applicable towards my job. Behind everything we do is a why. You can do it to raise your game or to raise the whole game. You can do it for your goal. Yeah that goal. Or you can do it for the common goal. Hey, sometimes you just gotta prove you can do it. Again. Again. And again. Do it to set the bar. Yeah. Set a record. Do it to set an example. Do it to break a sweat. Break a perception. Or do it to break free. Sabrina Ionescu. Do it to continue a legacy. Or do it to begin one. When you do it for your why, you can't be stopped.
are so glad you could join us here this evening as we get ready for what should be a competitive contest. Let's get the action started by introducing the starting lineups of both of these teams that are ready to do battle out on the Larry Walker court. We begin first with the visitors. The Dolphins of Shoreline Community College. Here is their starting lineup. Beginning first with a sophomore guard, number 14, A.J. Boyd, Jr. Joining him in the backcourt, another sophomore guard, number 24, Jalen Stepney. At the wing position, sophomore, number 30, Tim O'Penny. In the post, sophomore number 34, Deshaun McFerrin. And rounding out the starters this evening for the visiting Dolphins, freshman wingman number 44, Ramatullah Salim. The Dolphins are coached by assistants, Terrence King, Lewis Kramer, and the head coach, Aaron Mackey. All right, come on, Trojan Nation. I know you're out there. Let's make a little noise. It's time to introduce the starters for the home team, Everett Trojans. Here we go with their starting lineup beginning first. Sophomore forward standing six foot eight. The big man from Spokane, Washington, number zero, Leon. In the front court, a six foot six freshman forward out of Snohomish, Washington, number five, Tucker Molina. In the backcourt, running a point, a sophomore point guard out of Spokane, Washington, number 10, the sharpshooter, J.T. Smith. Joining him in the backcourt, a sophomore guard, standing six foot three, out of Palmer, Alaska, number 12, Colton Spencer. And rounding out the starters for the Trojans this evening, a 6'5 freshman guard out of Logan, Utah. He wears iconic number 23, Jaden Pentagon. Trojans are coached by assistant Daniel Thompson and the head coach now in his seventh season at the helm, Mike Troutman. Thank you, Mr. Murphy, for our opening lineups. Tucker Molina coming out for the tip. Tim Openy out for Shoreline. Ready to get underway, the tip. Swatted way down in the corner, but chased down by Shoreline. Stepney, hands off to Boyd. He'll take a shot. And then Shoreline's on the board. Tucker Molina answers right back, tied up at two. Stepney across half court. Long pass over to up opening. Loses the handle on it, out of bounds, every basketball. JT Smith across half court. Pass over to Molina. I mean, that was Medcalf at first. Now J.T. Smith with it. Gives a little ride there. He'll draw the foul. Now the first foul goes to Shoreline. First personal to Tim Openy. 
Trojan ball, 20 seconds on the shot clock. One minute into the contest. Spencer inbounding. Pentagar with it. Sayers shot, rolls in good. Stepney across half court. Opening, shot up from Stepney is no good. Rebound, saved in bounds, but back out of bounds by J.T. Smith. Stephanie inbounds. Shot up and good from McFerrin. We are tied at four. Spencer across half court. Pentagar, nothing but net. Jaden Pentagar for three. McFerrin. Pardon me, that was Boyd. Salim with a shot, a little bit long. Stepney with a shot, nothing but net. Everett up by one now. JT, pardon me, Spencer. JT with a shot for three. JT Smith, three point range. Everett up by four now. Stephanie slows it down a little bit. Get into Boyd. He'll shoot for two. No, passing it. Hook shot, and that one is good from Salim. Spencer across half court. Gives it up to Molina. Spencer in the corner for three. A little offline. Layup is good from Stepney. Or McFerrin, pardon me. Tucker Molina with it, and we're going to get a foul called. Second personal on, or second team foul on Shoreline. First personal on Deshaun McFerrin. Everett Ball, 21 on the shot clock. Molina inbounds to Pentagar. Pentagar drives, pass over to the side, shot up from JT, a little offline that time, can't get the three to fall. Step Neal, stop and pop. Little offline, Skyne for the rebound is Leon Sayers. Molina across half court. We'll take it all the way. High off the glass and good. Trojans up by two. Stepney across half court. Back to Stepney over on the side. Shot up from Boyd is good for two. Tucker Molina across half court. Passes it off. Spencer. Little hop, little pop, and the shot is good. Trojans back up by a deuce. Boyd across half court. Stephanie. That out to Davis. Davis's shot is good for three. Shoreline up by one now. Spencer kicks it out to Pentagar. He can't answer back. A little long, but chasing down the rebound is JT Smith. Sayers passes off to Spencer. His three is offline. Boyd had to back back out again. Davis passes it off to McFerrin. 
Loses a handle on it, makes some contact on the way. It's going to be the first team foul on Everett, first personal on Colton Spencer, and we've got a timeout on the floor. It's Shoreline 15, Everett 14, 14.42 to go in the first half. We'll be right back. Your first home is a big step. So many decisions to make. When it comes to your mortgage, why not get a great rate and keep it local? Talk with the experts at Northwest Plus Credit Union. We can help make that dream home of yours come true. My name is Laura Chong and I'm a soldier in the Army Reserve. I'm a 25 Bravo, so that's an IT specialist, and I'm currently transitioning over to 17 Alpha, which is a cyber officer. I work full-time at Boeing as a versatile technologist. I find myself referencing a lot of the knowledge that I learned as an IT specialist in the Army towards my civilian career at Boeing. A lot of times the knowledge is transferable. A lot of the technology is the same as well too, so it's very applicable towards my job. Welcome back to the Larry Walker Court. I'm Michael Ghost, joining you live from Everett Community College where the Trojans are down by one early on here in tonight's contest. At the line for Shoreline is Deshaun McFerrin. Joins Shoreline from Lake Stevens High School. First shot is up and rolls off. Still a one point margin. Second shot, also no good. Sky in for the rebound to Stucker Molina. Sayers with it now, back to Molina. Kicks that one out to JT Smith. Back to Molina, looks at a three for a second. Passes underneath to Sayers. Shot is up and good. Trojans up by one now. Boyd. Over to Stepney, he'll shoot three. Little offline. Sayers with the rebound. JT Smith kicks it back out to Spencer, and we get a foul. It's going to be a charge. Second team foul, first personal on JT Smith. A little cleanup on the floor before we get going again. Stepney to inbound. Boyd will take it across half court. Back to Stepney. Long three. A little bit too long. Sayers with the rebound. Spencer drives, off the glass and good. Colton Spencer. Trojans up by three now. Stepney, over to Boyd. McFerrin, gets back over to Stepney. Blocked. Tucker Molina will bring it across half court. Long pass over here. Pentagar gives it up to Luke. Back to Pentagar. He'll shoot a two. Nice. Trojans up by five now. 13 to go in the first half. Boyd across half court. Stepney with it. Pass over to McFerrin. Pass to Boyd goes one way, Boyd goes the other, and that goes to the Everett bench. Trojan ball, 12.47 to go in the first half. Everett up by five. Molina gives that back to Spencer, and he'll take it across half court. 
Pinnegar back to Spencer. Sayers with it. Off the glass and bounces in. Trojans with 22. Boy across half court. Guarded by Spencer. Here's shot up and good. Tim Openy for Shoreline. Spencer, nice little turn. Shot up, oh, a little bit short. Openy. Is up to Stepney. He'll take a shot and a little too much on it. Tucker Molina with the rebound. He'll take it across half court. Tries to bounce it into Sayers, gets it taken away. Now we get a whistle, gonna be a double dribble turnover. Ball goes back to the Trojans, 11.38 to go in the half. Tyreek Loop to inbound. Vesienko in to receive it. And MacArthur in there. Or in his usual smile. Molina. No drive. We're going to get a foul called. It's going to be the third team foul on Shoreline. First personal on Davis. That's going to send Tucker Molina to the line. Tucker joins us from Glacier Peak High School. Shot is up and a little bit too much behind it. Trojan still up by five. Tucker's second shot is good. Six point difference. Stepney directs some traffic. Pass over to Davis. Back to Stepney over here to Boyd. McFerrin, back to McFerrin again. He works his way around. MacArthur right in his face. Long three up from McFerrin, a little bit short. Rebound goes right to Molina. Fesienko hands off to Pentagar. Back to Fesienko. Molina, no, Pentagar with it again. Tyreek Luke with a shot, just won't go in there. Stepney, shot up, won't quite fall. Davis. Luke with it, shot up from Pentagar, a little bit long. Sky in for the rebound is Fesienko. Pass to absolutely no one that's gonna be shoreline basketball. 10 16 to go in the first half. Stepney brings it across half court. Boyd passes it off, works back around to Stepney. I'll take a shot, blocked by MacArthur. Gets his own ball back. Long pass over here. Boyd will work his way in. Blocked. Jaden Pentagar. We'll pass it over to Molina. Back to Pentagar. Over here to Luke. Trying to find his way in. There you go, Tyreek. Shot is up and good. Trojans by eight now. Boyd with it. Passes over to Stepney. McFerrin looks at the shot, passes back to Stepney, back to Boyd, and underneath to McFerrin. Taken away. Pass goes over to Tyreek Luke, and a little razzle-dazzle by Tyreek. Up and in, it is good. Step 
Stepney gets it back. Over to McFerrin. Back to Stepney. Boyd. He'll just take a shot. A little off to the right. MacArthur skies for the rebound. Pentagar across half court. Is that to Fessienko? MacArthur with it. Back to Pentagar. Doing a little three on three here. Pentagar's shot is good. Trojans up by 12 now. Stepney across half court. Shot up, no good. Rebound, fight for it. Gonna say out of bounds, last touch by the Trojans. So Shoreline will get it back with 12 seconds on the shot clock after this timeout. Exactly eight minutes to go in the first half. Trojans lead 29-17. We'll be right back. Hey, Ratchets, look! I'm you! <laughs> Jake from State Farm. You couldn't find a standard that looked anything like me? Have you seen mine? It's like looking in a mirror, right? Now, that one makes sense. Look, guys, I don't even have a stand-in. Of course you do. Hold on. Is that Drake? That's right. And Drake from State Farm. Like, like a, a good neighbor. neighbor. Like, like a, a good neighbor. neighbor. Stand-ins don't have lines. Oh, okay. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We all love this time of year, and Bihars invites you to dress up your space for fall. New inventory is arriving every week, and our store is full of fresh ideas for fall. Furniture and accents in stock, so you can take them home today. Some people are a little bit intimidated about designing their home. Let us help. Take our design style quiz online or stop by the store and our design team will assist you. Bihars Furniture, 21st in Broadway and Everett and online at bihars.com. Eight minutes to go in the first half. Trojans leading the Dolphins 29-17. It's going to be Dolphin basketball. Coming out of the timeout. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Raylan Wheeler the second to inbound. Wheeler gets that in to McFerrin. He'll turn, take a shot. Deflected in the air. Fesienko with the rebound. He'll take it across half court. Back to Fesienko. Over here to MacArthur. Gives it up to Tyreek Luke. Luke working his way around. Fesienko with it again. Trying to get through the door. Pentagar, eight seconds on the shot clock. Shot up from Gaithers, no good. MacArthur with a rebound. Now we get a whistle. A little discussion over how to call this one. It looks like they're going to say no foul. It's going to be Everett basketball. Three on the shot clock. <laughs> Colton Spencer back in. Benegar taking a little rest. Tyreek Luke to inbound, and we get a timeout on the floor. We're going to try and draw this one up. 7.28 to go in the first half. Trojans lead 29-17. We'll be right back. <laughs> Physical and Hand Therapy is the Northwest premier physical and hand therapy group with over 35 clinics located throughout the Puget Sound area and multiple located throughout Everett. There is an IRG clinic located in a neighborhood near you. Our neighborhood clinics provide compassionate and individualized care in a friendly environment. The clinics use the latest techniques and technologies to achieve exceptional results. Head to IRGPT.com to schedule your free movement screen today. I chose Everett Community College because I'm the youngest of. Coming out of the timeout, Trojan ball underneath the basket now. Three seconds on the shot clock. Got to wait for the cheerleaders to clear off the court. And we are going to have a little discussion with the refs. 
picture just what they're looking at. They're going to instant replay now. Instant replay over on the bench is the same view that you see, only they can back it up and go slow-mo. Technically, you could do that too if you wanted to. If you want to go and do that, meet me right back here. Feel free. 7.28 to go in the half. Trojans are up by a dozen, 29-17. Both teams getting a little bit more of a chance to discuss what they're going to do here. The refs maybe just trying to make sure that the shot clock is exactly right. That'd be my best guess. Still looking at it. to say two seconds on the shot clock now. All right, two seconds from the baseline. Tyreek Luke inbounds. Quick shot up from Fesienko. No good, didn't catch any iron, so that's going to be a shot clock violation. Shoreline ball with 7.23 to go. Boyd across half court. Hands it off to McFerrin, he'll drive. And we get a foul. Going to be on Gaither, his first personal, third team foul for Everett. McFerrin can't get a shot up. Boyd with it, 10 seconds on the shot clock. He'll shoot a three and pop it right in. Cuts the Everett lead down to nine inside seven minutes to go. Fesienko off the glass and good. Trojans push the lead back to double digits, up by 11. Stepney loses the handle, but he gets it back. Farron with it. Back to Wheeler. Over here to Boyd, he'll shoot for three. Air ball, but he'll draw a foul and get a chance to shoot three. Fourth team foul for Everett. First personal on Fesienko. A.J. Boyd Jr. going to, to the line. Boca Siega High School, St. Petersburg, Florida. First shot is missed. Second shot is good. And number three on the way. It rattles in. So two out of three for Boyd. The full court press. Spencer passes it across half court. Molina with it. Tyreek Luke back to Molina. Over to Spencer. Tries to get it to Sayers. Actually, it's Luke that puts it up and in. Six minutes to go on the half. Boyd across half court. 
Stepney. Pass over here to Wheeler. Opening back to Wheeler. Boyd again, nine on the shot clock. He'll take a shot from the top of the key, a little short. Rebound, Shoreline, fight for it though. Dolphins come up with it, and that one is good from Boyd for three. Makes it an eight point ball game. Pentagar across half court. Luke. Pass out to Spencer. Shot up from Molina, he gets his own rebound. Second shot is no good. Rebound tips around, eventually goes to Luke and he'll put it up, no good. Rebound again, Colton Spencer. Contact and that's gonna be a blocking foul. Fourth team foul on Shoreline. Second personal on opening. We are going to get a timeout on the floor. 4.52 to go in the first half. It's Trojans 33, Shoreline 25. We'll be right back. I joined the Army because I was really interested in unmanned aviation and there are not that many jobs where you can do that um, to the level that we do in the Army. I think what I love most about my job is that it's always challenging. You have to be able to react at a moment's notice to any changes in the aircraft and be able to potentially land it right away. This is the shadow and one of the coolest things we can do with the shadow is based on the camera down here. This camera allows us to get a lot of information from up in the air that is super helpful to the troops on ground. Welcome back to Larry Walker Court. Michael goes with you. Trojans leading the Dolphins 33-25. Trojan pep band playing in the background. Great to have them back. Trojan ball, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Inbound, fighting for it. And it goes out of bounds. It'll be Trojan ball again with 18 on the shot clock this time. Jaden Pentagard inbound. Colton Spencer brings it back. Guarded by Boyd. Nice. Tucker Molina just waiting for that one. Puts the Trojans up by 10 again. Step me. Direct some traffic. Is that up to it was Wheeler who had it. Stepney again. Eight on the shot clock. He'll shoot a two. Get it to fall. Nice little fade away by Stepney. Cuts Everett's lead back down to eight. Spencer across half court. Is that up to Medcalf in the game now? Sayers off the glass. 10 point game again. Stepney. Loses a handle on it. It goes out of bounds. Everett basketball. Trojan ball, 3.44 to go in the first half. Colton Spencer across half court. Shot by Pentagars, a little offline. Boyd with a rebound. He'll take it all the way and lose the handle. Spencer with it. Jamming it home, Tucker Molina! Trojans up by a dozen again. Step me with it. Passes it to Boyd. He'll shoot a three. 
offline. Sayers with the rebound. Pass up to Pentagar. He'll drive, get some contact. And we're going to get a blocking foul. Fifth team foul on Shoreline, first personal on Wheeler. Spencer with it. Nice turn around. 14 point lead for the Trojans. Stepney. Tunsil in the game. Gives up to Stepney again. Taken away by Sayers. Up and down. Thought he was going to jam it home, but just kind of touches it over the top. Trojans with 43 now. Boyd with it. Makes a shot. Get a whistle. He's going to go to the line. Fifth team foul on Everett. First personal on Leon Sayers. We'll send Boyd back to the free throw line. His shot. Bounces it. Shoreline with 28 now. Boyd's second shot. It's also good. Everett's lead now 14. Inbound to Spencer. Goes back to Pentagar. He'll pass it up ahead to Molina. Pentagar with it again. Oh, pass out to Molina. Went one way, Molina went the other, and the ball went right into the stands. Shoreline basketball, just inside two minutes to go in the first half. Cruz in, takes it across half court. Boyd with it to Davis. Back here to Boyd, and he'll shoot. He was his foot on the line. No, they're going to say that was a three. Cuts the Everett lead to 11. Spencer across half court. Sayers with it. It out to Medcalf. He'll drive. Tries to pass it off and get some contact, and that's going to be a charge. Sixth team foul, first personal on Jordan Medcalf. One eleven left in the half. Cruz with it. Farron passes out to Boyd, who tries to drive inside. Can't get the shot to call, but he gets a whistle, and he'll go to the line. Seventh team foul, second personal on Colton Spencer. A.J. Boyd back at the free throw line. Boyd Shaw is up and good. Shoreline 33 and cuts the Everett lead to 10. Second shot is up and it's a nine point game. Less than a minute to go in the half. Molina. Working his way to the half court line, passes to Sayers. Leon will get it to MacArthur, back to Molina. Back to MacArthur again. 
J.T. Smith hands it off. Pentagar back to Smith and good for three. Boyd guarded by MacArthur. It's a shot up high on the glass, goes in and pops back out. But he'll go to the line now. Eighth team foul. First personal on Tony MacArthur. He collects a few of those every time he plays. First shot is up and good. Second shot, a little short. Trojans lead by 11. Sayers with the rebound. Molino bring it across half court. Kicks that out to Pentagar. Pentagar's shot is good for two. Seven seconds to go. Chance for one shot from shoreline. Three, two, one. No good. That's going to be our halftime. Trojans lead Shoreline 48-35 going into the half. We're going to take a little break. Be back in about 15 minutes with second half action. We'll see you there. I chose Everett Community College because I'm the youngest of three siblings and we are all first generation students. All my sisters came here, so I'm following in their footsteps to pursue higher education while saving money. My advice to others would be to be proud for considering a community college, especially Everett Community College, because it's a beautiful, diverse, and inclusive campus that is really worth attending. Take your next step at everettcc.edu. It begins with the ball. You see, a ball is not just leather and rubber. A ball is the seed that communities grow around. We're talking split-second moments that become indelible memories. It creates lifelong friendships. It's a reason for people to celebrate. A ball isn't just a ball. It's a life lesson. It's a tool you use to pursue your best. It's how you earn your greatest victories. How you learn to deal with failure. It's a test that you pass. It's a dream that you catch. It's a future you hold in your hands. It's not just a ball. Baden, the official ball of you. I'm using my voice for representation. I'm black, I'm Muslim, I'm a woman. My name is Fatria Mohammed, and I'm the founder of the Muslim Women's Summer Basketball League. I was born in Oromia and came to Canada when I was 10. I didn't even know the language yet, but my PE teacher encouraged me to play basketball. I fell in love with hoops. Toronto is so diverse and multicultural. I want to offer that space of inclusivity to other girls too, even when they are the only hijabi on the court. The culture of basketball, the togetherness, the sisterhood are the reasons I chose sport management as a career. We will show the world Muslim women are strong and powerful. We will bring down stereotypes as we build up our game. Women supporting women is what's going to push us further in life. Buying your first home is a big step. So many decisions to make. When it comes to your mortgage, why not get a great rate and keep it local? Talk with the experts at Northwest Plus Credit Union. We can help make that dream home of yours come true. My name is Laura Chong and I'm a soldier in the Army Reserve. I'm a 25 Bravo, so that's an IT specialist. And I'm currently transitioning over to 17 Alpha, which is a cyber officer. I work full-time at Boeing as a versatile technologist. 
I find myself referencing a lot of the knowledge that I learned as an IT specialist in the Army towards my civilian career at Boeing. A lot of times the knowledge is transferable. A lot of the technology is the same as well too, so it's very applicable towards my job. You're never too young to make a difference. We can do anything we set our minds to. My name is Jaquel Jackson. I am the founder and leader of Project I Am. I grew up in the south side of Chicago, surrounded by givers. My aunt made sure to expose us to the side of reality where not everything is perfect. That's why I started Project I Am, with the goal to build awareness and fight homelessness. It's freezing right now. Can you imagine having to sleep out here? Just never forget that homeless people are people too. I've been playing basketball my whole life. It's helped me maintain focus, determination, and increase my amount of fearlessness. Every skill I choose to learn is aimed to strengthen my game and my mindset. I bring that to my organization. My message for those listening, don't wait to be great. Reaching our goals is what's going to make the struggle worth it. Harsh Furniture is the place where you can find furnishings and accents to fit every style. We have a huge selection of modern furniture, including modern farmhouse, mid-century modern, and urban chic. We've got it all in stock for you to take home today. I'm Jay Bihar. Did you know that Bihar's offers more financing options than the department stores? You can afford it at Bihar's. Just ask about our financing. Bihar's Furniture, 21st and Broadway in Everett and online at bihars.com. IRD Physical and Hand Therapy is the Northwest premier physical and hand therapy group with over 35 clinics located throughout the Puget Sound area and multiple located throughout Everett. There is an IRD clinic located in a neighborhood near you. Our neighborhood clinics provide compassionate and individualized care in a friendly environment. The clinics use the latest techniques and technologies to achieve exceptional results. Head to IRGPT.com to schedule your free movement screen today. who grew up in them to show them the way forward. I want to be the local leader that I needed when I was growing up. My name is Tamara Demery. I grew up on the south side of Chicago with my grandma and six of my sisters. They made sure that I was able to find my passion. And that's how I discovered basketball and how I found my voice. Through my work with Nike, I started volunteering to work with kids. I tried to create a moment to have a positive conversation to guide them forward. Playing basketball growing up meant uniting the community with something everyone loved. Today, I still use hoops to build a family with the kids I work with and help my community find healing through sport. I want to be the hero that I didn't have when I was growing up. It's on all of us to help the community we came from. Jake from State Farm. You couldn't find a stand that looked anything like me? Have you seen mine? It's like looking in a mirror, right? Now that one makes sense. Look, guys, I don't even have a stand-in. Of course you do. Hold on. Is that Drake? That's right. Drake from State Farm. Like, like a, a good, good neighbor. neighbor. Like, like a, a good neighbor. neighbor. Hey, stand-ins don't have lines. Oh, okay. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I joined the Army because I was really interested in unmanned aviation, and there are not that many jobs where you can do that um, to the level that we do in the Army. I think what I love most about my job is that it's always challenging. You have to be able to react at a moment's notice to any changes in the aircraft and be able to potentially land it right away. This is the shadow, and one of the coolest things we can do with the shadow is based on the camera down here. 
This camera allows us to get a lot of information from up in the air that is super helpful to the troops on ground. Most people want their dreams to happen right now. They want to achieve everything overnight. But if a dream can come true that quickly, it's probably not that much of a dream. I know, I'm just a kid. I know my dream is crazy. But I know. I'm going to be an overnight success, even if it takes 10 years. Got, got a mountain to climb or a hill to walk up either way to call shit. So I'm going for the big things, yeah. Sometimes the things we do or say can make others feel hurt, <laughs> excluded, or isolated. Everything you say and do creates an impact. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. Because of you, someone's entire life can change. You don't have to be a superhero to have a positive impact. Friends? Friends. We live here. We work here. We help our members buy homes and save money by not charging a bunch of banking fees. All the benefits of a hometown credit union. Now that's a plus. Northwest Plus Credit Union. My name is Captain Jose Vargas, and I am a soldier in the U.S. Army Reserve. My full-time job is an Everett Police Department police officer. Making a difference is a huge deal for me. Uh, being part of the U.S. Army Reserve has been a great experience. It's uh, provided me an opportunity to continue to serve not only my country, but my community through the Everett Police Department. It's just got to come from the heart at the end of the day. Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Yeah, right. Pepperoni pockets, an atomic brownie, cuckoo crusty. There's no promo, it's just great rates. And a cider ranch. You're the man, man. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Be Harsh Furniture is the place where you can find furnishings and accents to fit every style. We have a huge selection of modern furniture, including modern farmhouse, mid-century modern, and urban chic. We've got it all in stock for you to take home today. I'm Jay Bihar. Did you know that Bihar's offers more financing options than the department stores? You can afford it at Bihar's. Just ask about our financing. Bihar's Furniture, 21st and Broadway in Everett and online at bihars.com.
Halftime wrapping up. Taking a look at scoring. Nice field goal shooting for the Trojans, 61.1%. That's 22 out of 36 to Shoreline's 12 of 28. Three-point range could use a little bit of work. Three out of 13 for Everett, four out of 12 for Shoreline. From the free throw line, Everett's 50-50 with just two shots, one missed, one made. Shoreline going to the line a lot more often. Seven out of 12 from the free throw line. Turnovers, Shoreline eight, Everett six. Points off turnovers, Everett scored 13 to Shoreline seven. Rebounds, Everett owning the boards, 21 to 11 on total rebounds, seven to four on offensive, 14 to seven on defensive boards. Taking a look at individual scoring, we'll start as we always do with the visiting team, A.J. Boyd. Leading all scorers with 20 points, followed by four apiece from Stepney and McFerrin, three from Davis, and two each from Openey and Salim. For your Trojans, Jaden Pentagar leading the way with 11. Tucker Molina with nine, eight from Leon Sayers, six apiece from Luke, Smith, and Spencer, and two from Fesienko. Final seconds running off the clock. Everett is going to start out with possession here in the second half. Trojans leading the Shoreline Dolphins 48 to 35. Now we are just ready to go. Pentagard inbound. Shoreline contesting it pretty heavily. Colton Spencer with it. We'll bring it back across half court. Gives up to Pentagard. Out to J.T. Smith. Molina with it. Pentagar again. Spencer. Pentagar. Spencer will drive. Stop, pop, and just a little too much behind it. Pentagar with the rebound. 20 more seconds on the shot clock. He'll drive through a wall of blue and... Ball goes out of bounds. No foul, Everett basketball. 12 on the shot clock. Sayers with it. And that one tipped right into his mug, but he managed to get a handle on it. Shot up and good for Shoreline. Trojan lead is 11 now. Spencer. Molina with it, back to Spencer, back to Molina. He'll shoot for three, a little bit short. Rebound Pentagar and whistle on the putback. They're gonna wave off the shot so it doesn't count. Foul was on the ground. First foul of the half goes to Shoreline and it's the first personal for Salim. Sayers with a quick shot. It's ever back up by Lucky 13. Boyd over to Stepney. Boyd with it again. Salim and McFerrin with it now. Puts it up, bounces it in. Tucker Molina across half court. Pass over to Spencer. JT Smith back to Spencer and to Pentagar. Shot rolls off the side. Probably would have counted, but we get a whistle. Second team foul on Shoreline. First personal on Jalen Stepney. Sends Jaden Pentagar to the line. Jaden from Logan, Utah. First shot is up and good. 18.05 to go in the ball game. Second shot is good as well. Trojans lead by 13 again. Boyd across half court. 
part of me, that was Stepney. Now Boyd with it. Over to McFerrin. Stepney again. Backing in. Shot's no good. Saved in bounds by Molina. Spencer with it. JT back to Spencer. Pinnegar's three a little offline. Nice save in bounds, but goes to the wrong guy. And jamming at home is Tim Openy for Shoreline. Cuts Everett's lead to 11. JT back to Spencer. Over here to Molina. Sends it to JT in the corner. Good for three, JT Smith. Puts Everett up by 14. Boyd with it. Fadeaway is no good. Rebound, Pentagar. Pass up ahead to Spencer. Loses a hand. Poked away from behind. It's going to be last touched by Shoreline. Everett ball with 25 still in the shot clock. Spencer inbounds. All the way over here to Pentagar. Back to Spencer. Sayers to Molina, to Pentagar. He'll shoot for three. A little bit off. Rebound, Boyd. Carter made it again. Stepney passed ahead to Boyd with McFerrin with it now. Stepney. Guarded by Pentagar. Or Molina, that is. Taken away by Sayers. Molina with it across half court. Colton Spencer. Taken away by Shoreline. Pass from Openy goes right into the stands. It's going to be Everett basketball again with the 14 point lead, 15 44 to go. Colton Spencer across half court, pass ahead to JT Smith. JT will give it back. And back to JT again. And to Tucker Molina, and he jams it down. 16 points is the Everett lead now. Boyd with it. Over to Stepney. Pass underneath. And that's good from Salim. Colton Spencer, and off to Pentagar, back to Spencer. He'll shoot, leaves that one a little short. Boyd passes ahead, and off to McFerrin. He can't get the shot up. Blocked by Bellina, brought down. They're going to call the foul on Tucker. First team foul. And with the timeout, we'll take a little break. Everett leads 57-43, 14-45 to go. Be right back. Physical and Hand Therapy is the Northwest premier physical and hand therapy group with over 35 clinics located throughout the Puget Sound area and multiple located throughout Everett. There is an IRG clinic located in a neighborhood near you. Our neighborhood clinics provide compassionate and individualized care in a friendly environment. The clinics use the latest techniques and technologies to achieve exceptional results. Head to IRGPT.com to schedule your free movement screen today. I chose Everett Community College because I'm the youngest of three siblings and we are all first generation students. All my sisters came here so I'm following in their footsteps to pursue higher education while saving money. My advice to others would be to be proud for considering a community college, especially Everett Community College because it's a beautiful, diverse and inclusive campus that is really worth attending. 
Take your next step at everettcc.edu. The foul is actually on Leon Sayers, his first. That's going to send Deshaun McFerrin to the line. McFerrin joins Shoreline from Lake Stevens High School. Shot is up and a little long. Trojans to lead by 14. 14 and three quarters to go. That one swirls in. 13 point game. With a whistle, that's gonna be an offensive foul. Second team foul on Everett, first personal on Tucker Molina. Boyd with it. Third opening. McFerrin and back to Boyd. Stepney with it over in the corner. Opney, back out to Boyd, or Stepney, pardon me. Fade away, a little short. Salim with the rebound. That one a little short as well. This time, Tyreek Luke pulls it in. Jamming it down again, Jaden Pentagar. Stepney. McFerrin with it, back to Stepney. Hangs in the air a little bit and puts it up and in for two. 13 point game again. Tyreek Luke. Sayers. Back to Luke. Shot a little bit offline. Boyd with it. Over to Stepney. McFerrin. He'll shoot two. Rebound Salim, and we get a foul. It's going to be the third team foul. First personal on Pentagon. into Boyd and we get another quick whistle. It's going to be the second personal on Tucker Molina, fourth team foul, and that one will send A.J. Boyd Jr. to the line. Shot is up and good. Shoreline cuts Everett's lead down to a dozen. 13.03 left to go in the contest. Second shot, a rattles in. Trojans up by 11, 13 minutes to go. Pentagar, Sayers with it. Tries to get it out to Pentagar, taken by Boyd. Lays it up and in. Everett's lead down to single digits now. Nine points the difference. Pentagar. With the whistle, foul called. Third team foul on Shoreline. First personal on A.J. Boyd Jr. Bessienko with it. MacArthur. 
Gives up to Pinnegar. He'll shoot for three. Just a little too much. Out of bounds. Last touch by Shoreline. It's going to be Everett basketball again. Inbounds goes to McCarthy. Quick up and in for two. Trojans back up by 11. Boyd across half court. MacArthur guarding him. Shot is good, and he'll get a chance for a third. Fifth team foul on Everett, second personal on Tony MacArthur. Boyd back at the line. The shot is good. Completes the three-point play, and Everett's lead is now eight. Pentagar across half court. MacArthur with it. Gives it to Sayers. Leon puts it up and can't get it to fall. They're going to call a charge. So that's going to be the second personal on Leon. Sixth team foul on the Trojans. Shoreline ball, Everett's lead is eight. Boyd across half court, MacArthur waiting for him. McFerrin. That's you, Openy. Shot is no good, but he'll draw a foul. That is the first personal on Tyreek Luke, seventh team foul. And the shot is missed. Trojans still lead by eight. Second shot is up. And it rattles home. It's a seven point game. Molina, cross half court. Shot is blocked, but there's a whistle before that. Fourth team foul on Shoreline. Second personal on Davis. And it's Tucker Molina to, to the line. Tucker joining us from Glacier Peak High School. Shot is good. Everett leads by eight. And make it nine. MacArthur blocking the inbound, stealing it away. Spencer with it. Gives up to Pentagar. Back to Spencer. Nice little turnaround move. Can't get it to fall though. Boyd across half court. Takes it all the way. High off the glass. Hits the floor and draws a foul. Eighth team foul on Everett. The block is a third foul on Tony MacArthur. Boyd to the line. Shot is no good. Penegar with it. Stop, shot from the top of the key, no good. MacArthur fighting for the rebound. Ninth team foul. That's going to be the second personal on Tyreek Luke.
Deshaun McFerrin coming to the line. We'll be shooting one and one. First shot is good. Second shot is up and also good. And we've got a timeout on the court. 10.40 to go in the contest. It's a little bit tighter. Everett 63, Shoreline 58. We'll be right back. I joined the Army because I was really interested in unmanned aviation and there are not that many jobs where you can do that um, to the level that we do in the Army. I think what I love most about my job is that it's always challenging. You have to be able to react at a moment's notice to any changes in the aircraft and be able to potentially land it right away. This is the shadow and one of the coolest things we can do with the shadow is based on the camera down here. This camera allows us to get a lot of information from up in the air that is super helpful to the troops on ground. Coming back live to the Larry Walker court and Michael goes. Trojans lead is now five. 10 minutes, 40 seconds left to go. Trojan basketball inbound goes to Colton Spencer. Cross half court. Shot from the corner, just a little offline. Put back, no good. Another rebound by the Trojans. Finally shot up from Colton Spencer, good for two. Trojans back up by seven. Boyd to McFerrin. Passes over to Davis. Back to Boyd. Shot for three from Davis is no good. Rebound Tyreek Luke. He'll take it across half court. Gaither with it. Gives up to Luke. Gaither. Pass over to Molina. Molina fights for it and eventually it ends up in the hands of Davis. <laughs> Tenth team foul, third personal on Colton Spencer. We're going to get a timeout on the floor. 9.22 to go. Trojans lead 65-58. Pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Yeah, right. Pepperoni pockets, an atomic brownie, cuckoo crusty. There's no promo, it's just great rates. And a cider ranch. You're the man, man. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We live here. We work here. 
We help our members buy homes and save money by not charging a bunch of banking fees. All the benefits of a hometown credit union. Now that's a plus. Northwest Plus Credit Union. And we are back. 9.22 to go. Trojans lead by 7, 65-58. At the line is Jamichael Davis. Davis from Kentwood High School in Covington. Shaw rattles in. It's a six point game. That one bounces out. Tucker Molina. Cross half court. And the pass is intercepted. Stepney for three. And nothing but net. Three point ball game now with nine minutes to go. Tyreek Luke trying to turn the corner. Draws a foul, fifth team foul for Shoreline. Second personal on Deshaun McFerrin. Leon Sayers back in the ball game. Loop to inbound, gets it to Sayers. It's deflected on the layup. Boyd, Spencer guarding him. He's up to McFerrin. Out here to Davis. Shot a little offline. Spencer with the rebound. Colton across half court. Tucker Molina over to Sayers. Hennigar loses that one out of bounds. Last touched by Everett. It's going to be shoreline basketball. Everett up by just three now. Boyd across half court. Gives that over to Openy. Back to Boyd. Stepney, who hasn't touched it in a little while. Kicks that out to McFerrin. Five on the shot clock. Long shot from Davis. Nothing but net, and they are tying us up. 65 apiece, 7.40 to go. Tucker Molina over to Sayers. Got to get some points back here. Leon trying to get free. Puts it up. Can't get it to fall, but he'll draw a foul. Sixth team foul on Shoreline. Third personal on McFerrin. Leon Sayers to the line. Leon who joins us from North Central High School in Spokane. Shot is no good. Still time. Second shot is good. Trojans up by one. Stepney across half court. Boyd. Opening up for two. Shoreline up by one. Sayers with it. Shot blocked, but right into Tyreek Luke's hands, and he'll fade back and drop it in. Trojans back up by one. Stepney across half court gives up to Boyd. Back to Stepney. Shot up from Davis, a little offline. Rebound, Spencer. 
chance for Everett to widen the little lead. Take a little wedge in there, spread it a little wider. Pass is blocked. Boyd with it. Gets the shot to fall somehow. But the foul is going to be an offensive foul. Shot doesn't count. Or is it even a foul? What did they call there? Anyway, Everett basketball. Shot for three. Just offline. Fight for the rebound. One by Shoreline. Stepney trying to find his way in. Getting harassed. Boyd with it. Ten seconds on the shot clock. He'll shoot a long three. Shoots a little too long. Spencer across half court. Tries to take it all the way. Taken away from him. Shot is no good, but we get a whistle. Shooting foul is going to send Stepney to the line. That's the second personal on Pentagar. Jalen Stepney from Kent Meridian High School. Ties it back up. We are locked at 68 now. Tony MacArthur coming back in. Pentagar, take a rest. Second shot is also good. Shoreline up by one again. Timeout on the floor. 5.08 to go in the contest. It's Shoreline 69, Everett 68. We'll be right back. With cooler temperatures, football is back in the Northwest, and it's time to create the best home theater experience to watch your favorite game. Check out these great home theater options, all in stock now. I'm Jay Bihar. Did you know that Bihar's offers more financing options than the department stores? You can afford it at Bihar's. Just ask about our financing. Bihar's Furniture, 21st and Broadway in Everett, and online at bihar's.com. My name is Captain Jose Vargas, and I am a soldier in the U.S. Army Reserve. My full-time job is an Everett Police Department police officer. Making a difference is a huge deal for me. Uh, being part of the U.S. Army Reserve has been a great experience. It's uh, provided me an opportunity to continue to serve not only my country, but my community through the Everett Police Department. It's just got to come from the heart at the end of the day. Welcome back to Larry Walker Court. We are coming to you live from the Walt Price Student Fitness Center. Michael goes with you. Trojans down by one, 69-68. Still over five minutes left to go. Plenty of time for these two teams to battle back and forth. Trojans had some big leads most of the way. Shoreline battling back here in the second half. It'll be Trojan ball. Colton Spencer will bring it across half court. Shoreline is waiting for him. Tucker Molina pass over here to Luke. MacArthur. Tyreek with it again. Trying to find his way in. Send it out to Colton Spencer. He'll shoot two. A little too much on it. Save inbounds. Goes to the wrong guy. 
Boyd. Runs through traffic, comes back outside. MacArthur waiting for him inside the three-point arc. Takes it away. Tony gives it up to Sayers. Tucker Molina, nice little move, but gets nothing for it. Opening is up. To Boyd, McFerrin with it. Loses it, gets it back. Shot no good, Sayers with the rebound. Tucker Molina gets it to Spencer. Shot's no good, we get a foul. That's gonna be on Shoreline, seventh team foul. That's gonna be the second personal on Salim. Going to the line is Colton Spencer. Spencer joins us from Colony High School in Palmer, Alaska. Shot is a little too hot off the back iron. Still a chance to tie it up here. Put back no good. Trojans are still down by one. Shoreline basketball. Stepney across half court. MacArthur's waiting. is denied, but ref's going to call a whistle on that one, send him to the line. Third personal on Tucker Molina. It's going to send Deshaun McFerrin to the free throw line. First shot, a little short. Still a one point ball game. Second shot is good. Trojans are down by two. 3 10 to go. Molina across half court. Tries to kick it out to Pentagar, but gets it taken away. And A.J. Boyd emphatically scores two. Now we're going to get another timeout on the court. Just under three minutes to go. It's Shoreline 72, Everett 68. We'll be right back. your first home is a big step so many decisions to make when it comes to your mortgage why not get a great rate and keep it local talk with the experts at northwest plus credit union we can help make that dream home of yours come true IRD Physical and Hand Therapy is the Northwest premier physical and hand therapy group with over 35 clinics located throughout the Puget Sound area and multiple located throughout Everett. There is an IRG clinic located in a neighborhood near you. Our neighborhood clinics provide compassionate and individualized care in a friendly environment. The clinics use the latest techniques and technologies to achieve exceptional results. Head to IRGPT.com to schedule your free movement screen today. Basketball down by four now. Shoreline with the press. Pentagar gives that one a little short. 
Chase for the rebound. Winner, Colton Spencer. Shot for three, nothing but net. Colton Spencer. Cold Colton Spencer. Two and a half minutes to go. Everett down by one now. Need a stop and need some points. AJ Boyd taking his time. Loses his handle, but he gets it back. McFerrin with it. Swatted away by MacArthur. Shot for three. Nothing but net. Boyd answers right back. Down by four again. Two minutes to go. MacArthur. Molina loses it. Boyd weaving around. He's going to back off. Stepney. MacArthur watching his eyes. Shot up from Salim is no good, but he gets his own rebound. MacArthur stops that one, gets the rebound himself. Colton Spencer. And they're going to call a charge on that. That is foul number four on Spencer. Four point game still, a minute nine to go. Shoreline ball. Boyd. And we are gonna get a jump ball. Arrow favors Shoreline, so they'll keep it. 20 seconds on the shot clock, 59.3 on the game clock. Shoreline up by four over your Trojans. Stepney inbounds, gets it to Boyd. Guarded by Spencer. Loses it. Spencer with it. Tyreek Luke, MacArthur, back to Luke. Shot for three, little long. Rebound Stepney and we got a foul. That point in the game, shoreline up by four. They'll go to the line. Third personal foul on Penegar. Sends Jalen Stepney to the free throw line, and we've got a timeout. I'm going to take a little break. 34.4 seconds to go. Shoreline 75, Everett 71. We'll be right back. your first home is a big step so many decisions to make when it comes to your mortgage why not get a great rate and keep it local talk with the experts at northwest plus credit union we can help make that dream home of yours come true my name is laura chong and i'm a soldier in the army reserve i'm a 25 bravo so that's an it specialist and i'm currently transitioning over to 17 alpha which is a cyber officer i work full-time at boeing as a versatile technologist I find myself referencing a lot of the knowledge that I learned as an IT specialist in the Army towards my civilian career at Boeing. A lot of times the knowledge is transferable. A lot of the technology is the same as well too, so it's very applicable towards my job. Players coming back out to the floor. Trojans down by four, 34.4. We'll see what they're down by after this. As Jalen Stepney is stepping to the line to take two. And the shot rolls up. Still a four point game.
Second shot. Rattles off. Sayers with the rebound, still a four point game, 31 seconds. JT Smith gives up to Spencer. Back to Smith, he'll shoot three. Rattles in. One point ball game. Timeout on the floor. We're gonna draw this one up. 23.4 seconds, shot clock will be off. Everett down by one, shoreline ball. We'll be right back. Hey, Ratchets, look, I'm you. <laughs> Jake from State Farm. You couldn't find a stand that looked anything like me? Have you seen mine? It's like looking in a mirror, right? Now that one makes sense. Look guys, I don't even have a stand in. Of course you do. Hold on, is that Drake? That's right, Drake from State Farm. Like, like a, a good neighbor. neighbor. Like, like a, a good neighbor. neighbor. Stand-ins don't have lines. Oh, okay. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We all love this time of year, and Bihars invites you to dress up your space for fall. New in all right, 23.4 seconds to go. Shoreline ball, Everett down by one. Boyd to inbound. Oh, so close. We get the foul instead of the takeaway. It's gonna send Stepney back to the line after just missing two. Twenty point two seconds on the clock. His first shot is good. Two point game. Substitution brings back in Spencer and Sayers. Second shot is also good. Three point game, 18 seconds left. JT Smith with it, hands off to Spencer. Shot from Pentagar, oh, just offline. Fight for it, goes out of bounds. We're gonna say shoreline basketball. Still a three point game, 7.9 seconds left and the hill is a little bit steeper now. AJ Boyd, the inbound. And we get the foul. Time it's going to be Jamichael Davis going to the line, and the foul is going to be the fourth on Jaden Pentagar. If he makes any of these, that steep hill is going to be a little bit closer to a wall. Davis from Kentwood High School sinks the first one. Four point game. Second shot is good as well. Five point game, 79 74. Time for one quick shot. Just a little bit short, and that is how we're going to end. Right on the 34 points of A.J. Boyd Jr., Shoreline comes back, defeats your Trojans 79-74. And that's going to wrap it up tonight from Larry Walker Court. Trojans go out on the road over the weekend, but we'll be back here in the friendly confines as the Edmonds Tritons are going to be rolling into town. I'll be joining you, hopefully, with that one next Wednesday. Coming to you live from the Walt Bryce Student Fitness Center. So once again, Shoreline coming back, beating your Trojans 79-74. I'm Michael Ghost. Tell your dog I said hi. Good night.